On today's show, we bring on our so-called competitor and put him in his place. Let's go. Roll the intro. All right, all right. Yo, yo, yo. Coming to you live from Philly. It's the number one rated Paul and Tony Fusco show. Yo, yo, yo. As always, Pauly Fusco here with Tony Fusco and Tony. Yo. You know, all the people listening and watching right now, they're probably noticing this episode coming a little later than our normal ones. You know, we're recording later because, Tony, yep. we were up the other night watching that total embarrassment called oh, the Sixers game. It was game. horrible. Just terrible. An embarrassing loss. Losing yeah. to the Celtics by 35 points. But don't worry, people. Yep. As usual, we have answers, solutions. We're don't worry. We're taking care of for it. You. Yep. Yeah, we're going to tell you what went wrong. Yeah, we're going to separate fact from friction. Yeah, and we're, what we're also going to do is we're going to bring on this guy. He calls himself a competitor of ours, even though oh, uh, there's no competition, please. people. Yeah, Let's face exactly. it, we totally crush him in the ratings. Been doing that for yeah. years. Anyway, yeah, you know, some people like to call him the voice of Philly radio, which is just totally disrespectful to us and also unfactual of yeah, course ridiculous. Uh, but you know now he's he's just been polluting the airwaves with his terrible takes so we're gonna bring him on and just you know educate him Tony you know put him in his absolutely. place absolutely his name is Mike Missinelli and uh you know by the way Tony on the subject of our huge ratings yeah. uh you know that's why advertisers are lining up to Out be the on the show so in yep. fact it's time for a message from our latest sponsor newest sponsor our good friends at eHarmony do you have trouble finding people to date or marry? Well, don't worry. Your days of being a total loser are soon to be over. Yeah. Now, just to be clear, we don't have to use eHarmony because, you know, we're famous. And also, who the f*** wants to get married? But, no you know, they paid us to do this read, so... Here yeah, you go. So anyway, just go visit uh, eHarmony.com and, uh, well, I don't know what you do uh, past that because I've never used the site. Yeah, me uh, neither. Yeah. No problems in that department. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, all right, there's our ad. Let's just end yeah. it there because, you know, we got more to get, though. Another we got check in the, the mail. Way. So let's just yep. get straight in to our top story. Top story. All right, first out the gate, you know, after that game one domination by the Sixers over the Celtics, you know, just crushing them 119, 115. Wasn't it even like close. Philly Killed was them. just going to run yeah. to a sweep. sweep. Yeah, yep. but then in game two, just an absolute meltdown by the Sixers. Shameful. And, you know, they Unreal. lost 121 to 87. But, Ugh. you know, it was clear watching that game. They completely, totally abandoned their game plan from game one. So what we're going to do right now is just get them back to basics and tell That's them what they, what they need do. to do. We're going to lay it out. These are keys to the series. Here we go. The first key more scoring you know you can't score 87 points in a game no and expect chance. to win you know so in the next games tony it's clear the Sixers need to just focus on getting the ball in the yeah. basket more 100 percent. you can't win games unless you score more than your opponent Yup, and that leads naturally to the second key, better defense. You know, you can't let the Celtics score 121 no, points. absolutely not. You just not. can't do that, you know? No. See, what they got to do is they got to they gotta limit the Celtics to fewer points. Exactly. You never want your opponent to score more points than you. That's almost always going to lead to a loss. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. And the third key... They need a winning mentality. You know, it's Absolutely. clear out there, Tony, there watching you that go. game. They just, they weren't playing to win. You got to play to win. Isn't that right? 100% right. If you're not focused on winning, then you're not going to win. Simply put. There you go. And there's our yep. keys to the series. And uh, let's shift over to go. the Western Conference now, where we got the Lakers playing the Warriors. You know, people out there, they're saying this is a marquee matchup. Yeah. What well, marquee? If, it, yeah, exa- if it's so marquee, then why is the NBA doing everything they can to hide it? You know, the start the start times for these games are 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. You know, my hunch, Tony, here's what's going on. You know what's going on. With these low NBA ratings, you know, the league is so afraid nobody's going to watch these games. You're that so they're right. Putting it, they're putting them in a time slot where yep. they know they can win. Exactly. Right? You, know, you, you, you look at the second half of these games around 12 a.m. They, they're going up against reruns of Night Court and Love Connection. You know, totally. It's clear what they're doing. They're just they're just 
trying to win the time slot and game in the system. Isn't yep. that what's going on? And it's though? so deceitful. Obviously, Adam Silva knows if he puts games against entertainment powerhouses like Young Sheldon, the league's going to get killed. And, yep. uh, you know, the other night, I have to say, I had a choice to watch either the Lakers Warriors or the OxyClean infomercial. I chose OxyClean. Yep. Always entertaining and educational, too. Absolutely. You know, you made the right choice that, Dodie. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, just 100%. On another, on another topic here with the TV ratings, very interesting story here out of the NFL. Fox Sports and the NFL released a statement uh, this week. They said the, the original number of viewers reported for the Eagles Chiefs Super Bowl was actually too low. You know, they yep. originally said it was 113 million, yep. but now they've apparently done some digging, uncovered some lost uh, Nielsen Very mail and ratings booklets, uh, exposed some viewership fraud, and yep. now they've adjusted the numbers to 115 million, making it the most watched Super Bowl of all time, as hmm. it should be. And Tony, you know, we always know something was fishy here with the numbers, didn't we? Absolutely. You know, when I saw that original number of only 113 million viewers, I thought that's way too low. There's just no way. Everyone I knew watched the game. I mean, I must have known 2 million people just by myself who said they watched it. Yeah, me too, Tony. And yeah. that makes 4 million. This is just so, you know, it's you disturbing go. on many levels, isn't it, Tony? You know, I got to say, I'm somewhat shaken by this development. I mean, if we can't trust the Nielsen ratings, who can we trust? You know, I've always thought the ratings for America's Got Talent were way too low. The Nielsen's say that that show only gets a poultry 9 million viewers, but how can that be? I mean, this is our country's premier talent competition, where our nation's finest circus performers, fire eaters, and hilarious jugglers are on display. That show has to be getting 100 million viewers per week minimum. So true and so beautifully said, Tony. And now to some Thank other you. news out of the NFL. You know, we haven't been on air since the NFL draft when the Eagles totally dominated, oh, dominated. every round. And, you know, Killed when it. you look at why they did it, it's easy to see why. You know, they just basically drafted all their players from Georgia and Alabama. That's what they did. And, you know, yep. Tony, we've been ahead of this for years, haven't we? You know, we saw this coming. Absolutely. It just further proves what we've been saying for years. There is no reason why NFL teams should have scouts. Isn't that right, Tony? A thousand percent. Remember when we were watching the national championship game and I said, why do they bother scouting the country for players? Why not just draft all the players from these teams? Yep. Simple. You're done. Great scouts point, watch Tony. so much film and go travel all over the country. And that's a complete waste of time. All you got to do is watch the college football playoff and you're done. Yep. You got enough players to field an entire draft right there. What are they doing going to these colleges like University of Idaho or South Dakota State? Just a terrific point, Tony. And, you know, Thank you. on the subject of uh, total waste of time, yep. uh, this week we've been getting a lot of criticism for uh, a, a segment we did on the show last week where we talked about how ridiculous it was that uh, the panel over there at uh, ESPN's oh, the NFL worst. Live the that they were so surprised worst. by yeah. the Aaron Rodgers Please. trade. They were all like, oh, wow, we didn't see this coming. Yeah. And what they were saying to us, these idiots, is they're saying, well, they were surprised by the, the picks that were dealt, yeah. that, we that know. the Jets gave up so yeah. much and, you know, whatever. People. It, you shouldn't we knew be surprised it the whole time. that. That was, that was still no surprise to anybody. Exactly. Did, did you really think exactly. this, this trade wasn't going to go through? I mean, the Jets had no quarterback, all right? Aaron Rodgers himself yes. said the trade was going to happen. Yes, all right? and, he you know, said it. Yeah, if, frankly, if you're surprised by this news, then I guess anything will shock you. Yeah. So uh, we're going to bring Seriously. back uh, another segment we did last week. Uh, it's one of our newest segments where we cover other stories like this yeah. it's time for breaking obvious news breaking obvious news oh look at this tony what do we the got the packers announced jordan love is getting a contract extension wow Whoa. you know couldn't see that one coming tony wow. you know just figured they you know maybe they would not re-sign him maybe maybe go week to week with him you know weekly yeah. contract wow yeah. oh uh, here's another one tony Obvious news. 
Lamar Jackson officially signs his five-year contract with the Ravens. Wow. Whoa! You know, I wasn't sure if that was actually going to happen, but there you go. It happened. Wow. Now it's done. No way. Yeah, believe it or not, Tony. Well, there I you didn't go. see that Break, coming. Didn't see it coming. Doors. All right. Well, all right. Uh, Bad enough that he's on his own show, but here oh, he comes no. on our show. So let's uh, go ahead and bring him on the Fusco Satellite Network. Fusco Satellite Network. All right, this guy. One of our quote-unquote competitors, we'll say, even though we're winning that battle by a mile. That, yeah. that battle's been over for Not years anyway. You know, some people, as we said, like to call him the voice of Philly radio, which is Totally just misleading yeah. and disrespectful. Uh, you know, he spent many years on 97.5 The Fanatic. Now he hosts his own show, the Mike Missinelli podcast on Bet Rivers. We'll do him a favor, get his plugs in. Eagles pregame show on uh, Jakeeb Media, whatever. You know, they Jacob, wanted us. But J- it's Jakeb J- Media. You know, we don't it's, even it's, care. It's Jakeeb. They wanted us. Yeah, who cares how you say it? Enough, so we're not going to bother learning yeah. their name. They're lucky they got All a right. plug. Yeah. Yeah. J- anyway, J- we're J- having them. J- 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 might be. You're like, not on your show a- here, Mike. Hold uh, on. I'm just saying. I mean, Jakeem might be in the Middle East somewhere. I think they have a network. We didn't even finish yeah, introducing we, we you yet. Them. So oh, unprofessional. Right, I'm sorry. All right. Go anyway, on. we're having him on the show here to educate him and teach him how to do broadcasting, yeah. which he cl- can't even sit there and shut up for one minute while we do his intro. Anyway, Mike Missinelli, welcome to the show. Yeah, well, I, guess. You know, I guess. Welcome. I am so what? glad to be here. Yeah, I, it was either this or um, or, or have a, a proctologist examination. And uh, I, I chose this, although well, I'm not good so news. I'm a proctologist. I yeah. see an asshole on my screen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. yeah, see, you yeah, yeah. Little yeah. see that's what you get for interrupting well. us. Yeah. Now, let's reel yeah. it back in. Yeah. Let's reel yeah. it back in here. Reel it back. We'll try yeah. to give you another start here. Already yes. off to a bad start there. All right. Look, let's Mike, okay. as we all know, just a terribly embarrassing performance by the Sixers in game two. You know, Horrible. You love to talk sixes. People, you know, I guess want to hear what you have to say sometimes. Yeah. I don't know why. But in your so-called professional opinion, what do you think they need to fix, the, you know, in this series moving forward? Um, They need to get better players from off their bench, for, first of all. But no. Uh, what analysis last there. Night, okay. Last night was uh, oh, uh, night. one of those. Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get Joel Embiid. Uh, back acclimated to a basketball floor. He hadn't been on a basketball floor for a really long time. I didn't think they were going to win the game. I didn't think they were going to get smashed. And and the problem is now that you give Boston this confidence that they're a great shooting team, uh, and that kind of carries over. After their performance in game one, the Sixers had them thinking a little bit. Uh, And all those uh, baskets that they got on backdoor cuts weren't weren't there. Yeah, what they were thinking is – Where's Joel Embiid? That threw them off, right? Yeah, they didn't know what then to Joel do. Joel Embiid, he exactly. comes back. Yeah, very, you know, and all of a sudden they're losing. It looks to I me wouldn't expect like that. Ben, ben yeah, Shemby, wouldn't... hold on, let me finish. God, this guy, he's a running mouth. Hold on. we need. Yeah, we need a mute button on this yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. Right, let me get my point. They should bench Embiid. Yeah, bench Embiid. All right, tell me the probably stupid point you want to make. Yeah. So you you think they should have not played Embiid in game two? Correct. Yes. He was not himself. You know, first of all, how can you have two MVPs? You can't two have them on the floor together. most valuable players on the floor. That was the first time. Never had, works. That doesn't make sense. Two most valuable players? Yeah. It's unclear who's in charge, you know, like so in this basically, interview. basically, you want them to, when do you want them to unveil and be like in the game, game five? When like, he's what, healthy. What was he's your idea healthy. of yeah. when the best time to play him? Or not play him at all through the whole series. Not play him at all. Yeah. I mean, we saw in game one, total domination from James Harden. Yeah, they smashed him. Yeah, I. Uh, that's not uh, the, the best uh, solution. It really is. They have no chance of that to be playing in the series. I'm sure you know that. Like, you actually think this team could beat Boston four times? Yes, yes, Parker. they won really? the first won. game. You know, you're just, you know, you're a downer. And, you know, See, Mike, this is why your ratings were never as big yeah, as ours. you're down in, you know, on the weeds in, here. They hear this negativity from yeah. you, this hopelessness. And, then you know, it makes them sad. Yeah. Uh, Tony and Paul. Uh, let me let me explain something. James Harden's how old? Thirty three, right in his prime. He, he, he's not in his prime, and there is no chance that he's going to replicate forty five point effort. 
So where you know, are you, you going to get your problem, these points? You know your problem, Mike? You don't have a winning mentality. Yeah. In this, Just in like the Sixers in, sports, in game you two. You have a winning mentality. You have a losing mentality. That's why we crush you in the ratings. And, that's the you know, stupidest that's thing I've ever heard. That is oh. the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's what they should call and your you show. You would not play and be in the whole thing. I can see it that if you would say he shouldn't play in game two, get more rest. That's even stupid. But then when you go on for the rest of the series and say he shouldn't play, they have zero chance to win. Come on. All right. You know, you can't read stats and that's your problem. By the way, yeah, the stupidest exactly. thing I ever heard was when Bet Rivers hired you. You know, that was Yeah, the we couldn't believe it. We're like, this heard. guy. But let's just, yeah, just, all okay. right, anyway. No, let's, talk, let's talk about not playing in beat. Because I would oh, love here he to goes go like, again. For, like tomorrow yeah. night at the Wells Fargo Center. I would love for them to give him the MVP trophy and then announce to the crowd. And by the way, he's not playing because Tony and Paulie Fusco said that they'd be oh, better off okay. without him. Fus- I think that's what we right, should it's do. It's Fusco. We- and, it's Fusco. And think about and- the Celtics. They'd be confused. they say, guys, Embiid's definitely playing. Then all of a sudden, there's they no Embiid. they the whole game plan out the yes. window. Yes. There you go. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, it's, like I said before, it's a great idea. You guys are ahead of the game. You're ahead of the curve. Jesus, this has gone off the rails, Tony. Yeah. Let's I bring it, it back in. I Let's see what he says about our next All right. yeah, All right. Eagles so look, draft. The Eagles, they dominated the draft. They killed okay? it in the draft. Would you agree that much there, Mike? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. okay. So you have a brain. Just well, you're it. actually You're actually, you have the right take? That they well, killed it yeah. in the draft? Yeah, I thought you were going to say something like We're going like deeper they, here. We're going okay. next right. level he, deep yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. He, he's very excited. Okay, look. Yeah. But don't you think, look, they got all their top players from Alabama and Georgia. Let Smart. me ask you, Mike, What? why do they have scouts in that organization? Just a total waste of money, if you ask me. Just watch the college football playoff. That's all you got to do. That's all the scouting you need to do. Agree? Yeah, yeah I, you know, actually, that's a brilliant point. No, uh, how much money yeah. do you think they spend on scouts? Like they Tons spend a lot of money. On we got to trim the budget and, there. Yeah, lodging. You can go to the best diems. teams. Yeah, in the SEC. diems, lodging. They, you know, right, reimbursement, let, we'll let gas. Let, let, let's let him bury himself here. Yeah, go. I, I never thought about that. That's actually good. Yeah, well, why are they wasting money on scouts that they could just go to the top teams in the SEC and draft guys that you can see on Saturday? I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with that philosophy. Believe it I or not. I watched the game five minutes. Maybe I said that guy's good. We want him. Well, it might be the smartest thing you guys have said. There you go. I got, no, I got nothing. You know, Mike, the, now when you look back at your career, you know, you were sitting there coming up with takes on your own. Do you think now maybe you should have just been listening to our show the whole and time. just repeating that? Yeah, perhaps I should have. Because I've never heard, like, you're you're right for the wrong, like, you're suggesting oh. that they shouldn't hire scouts. Yeah. And, um. The way football, I guess, has evolved here in uh, college football, I, I guess you just go to the SEC. That's their philosophy now. So they could trim the payroll, and yeah. and, and, and and Jeffrey Lurie could get richer. Exactly. I'm stunned here that you that you Fusco's came up with this brilliant idea. Oh, see, he can't even compliment you know, us I straight. Think, you know that was a that was a backhanded compliment. Yeah, man. that's what it was. Trying to be a man and go ahead and admit that the reason you knocked us through the years is because you're jealous that our takes are so much better than your yep, shit ones. Always. I don't think I've knocked you through the years. I would have to know about you before I knock. Oh, oh, guess what I know? Guess what I know? Yeah. You know what? Guess what I know? This interview's Mike, coming to an end. That's what Mike I know. Listen, Ellie. You know who I'm not gonna miss? You on this show. Yeah. You're right. Exactly. You're Mike off this show. swinging you're and missing, Ellie. Really guess right. what? Yeah. You're off the show. Mike, you're, Mike, missing the point. Missing the point. I'm off the show. Because I've got to call Doc Rivers now and say, don't play and beat. The rest of the series should be better. Yeah, guess what? Go. Do that and they'll win. Call your proctic- yeah, proctologist. Right, call your right, proctologist. Let me, check. All right. You're let, all let, out, let me, let me Yeah, go now. you're I might done. Be able to catch him before he leaves the Yeah, yeah, yeah go. Right. We already got. We already done with you. Go. Go satellite network. Is he off the line? Jay, hang up the phone. Yeah, you know, there you go. There's exhibit A of why we totally kick his ass in the ratings in half a years. Exactly. He won't be missed on this show.
No, not at all. Anyway, uh, but, you know, uh, we don't want to let it ruin what was a terrific show. And obviously, yeah, we want to do thank our good friends at eHarmony, even though yeah, we thank never you, e oh, oh, Are you so, kidding me? It's someone who definitely needs eHarmony. I don't even know if eHarmony can help Yeah, them. producer first, Jay. What? You said NFL scouts shouldn't waste their time scouting players from colleges like South Dakota State. Yeah. Yeah. Total waste, waste of time. time. Yeah. Adam Vinatieri. Arguably the greatest kicker in NFL history went to South Dakota State. So scouting him probably was not a waste of time. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you want to talk waste of time? Go look at the last 20 seconds. Yeah. I'm going to be the greatest kicker in history after I kick you in the balls. Yeah. Oh, good one, Tony. It's good. Yeah. You're done. That's it. No, no more. No. What? What? Hurry Second. up. Go. You said the Lakers Warriors games are starting too late. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Ridiculous. If those games started earlier, East Coast games would have to get going at like 4 p.m. Eastern time, and people would still be at work. And also, it would be terrible for ratings. Oh, yeah. Well, on the subject of terrible for ratings, you. Yeah. You know what else I wish got going earlier? The hitman that we hired to kill you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he needs to get moving. That yeah, Tony let's go you. already. All right, Don't, that's it. We're done. Last, let's get out of here. One. What? Go. You said in your quote-unquote analysis that if the Sixers wanted to beat the Celtics, they need to play better defense. Yeah, bro, 100%. Yeah, clear, bro. What? what? Yeah. that That's not analysis. That's clear to pretty much everybody. Oh, yeah, well, you know it's also clear to pretty much everybody? That you need to die. Yeah. You know who else plays great defense? Women, when you ask them out. Boom! Oh, he's done. He's soaking poorly. This is just in, Tony. On the show next week, booked Nick Foles. Wow. There he comes on the show. Can't wait for that. Hey, in the meantime, follow us on TikTok, subscribe, watch us on YouTube, and listen on the pod. You know, you get that double yeah. experience, that more, that knowledge. Double there, exposure. Yeah, there yep. you go. And uh, hey, Tony. Great job as always. Same to you, Paulie. Another flawless show. There you go. We'll see you people next week. See ya.